Thunderfoot, hey, love your videos. I agree with almost everything you say, but this last video I have a few problems with. Um, your contention is that lack of regulation is what caused this financial disaster, and more regulation is the solution. I disagree, um, because although regulations were reduced in the late 90s, uh, regulators were still predicting this disaster. They were predicting it uh, in the early 2000s, 2003. Greenspan was predicting it in 05, but the economy was fueled off all this real estate funny money and all the congressmen loved it because the economy was doing good so they didn't want to do anything about it they're totally complicit in this i'd say the congress people are more complicit than the business people because i think the root cause is not lack of regulation but freddie mac and fannie mae um you see their whole purpose is to have government-backed loans that are a bad risk that normal businesses would not give um, all of the poor interest rate loans that have been going out over the past few years have been based on the fact that these two entities will buy all this crappy paper. Okay, so what was happening is all these little loan companies were structuring their loans to sell to Freddie and Fannie. Um, they wouldn't have structured them any other way. And this kind of was a, a vicious cycle because what would happen is all these people who couldn't get loans are not getting them and there's a lot more demand for houses and house prices were just climbing like crazy everyone wanted a house ownership society uh, everyone's buying a house even if they can't afford it and a lot of these mortgage brokers said wow house prices are always going to appreciate so we don't even need a down payment anymore you don't even have to have a job to get a loan your house will always appreciate so it's an asset we can just take if we ever need and no problem that would never have happened without Freddie Mac and Fannie Mae. Two months ago, Freddie and Fannie say, hey, wow, <laughs> giving all these crap loans to people who can't afford them is a bad idea, and it's going to cost us a fortune, and it's going to cost the taxpayers a fortune. We're not going to take them anymore. So two months ago, all these mortgage companies started going out of business, and it was panic time. Guess what? Freddie and Fannie hadn't been around. This would not have happened. Okay, so... What if Freddie and Fannie had never existed? What would happen is banks would have their own money at risk and they would only give loans to people that had decent credit and a job. They could afford the house and pay back the loan. And fewer people would be able to buy a house. Boo hoo. But real estate prices would not have gotten so stratospherically high because there'd be less demand for it. Um, if someone did try making these bad loans, <laughs> people would default and they'd be out their own money and what would happen is uh, they would go out of business and people would buy the assets of those companies and um, let's say someone tries to uh, scam someone let's say there is an evil businessman scamming people out of their their loan money what would happen is we have laws to deal with this we don't need regulators if someone gets screwed over you take them to court we have existing laws to take care of this no one wants to get sued um, no one wants to go to jail so Without regulation, just by having laws and a court system, we have everything in place that we need to maintain the free market. By now you've probably guessed that I'm against any sort of bailout whatsoever. Um, I think the politicians right now are trying to divert the blame on regulations or... They're trying to cover their ass. They know they're complicit in this. They're diverting their attention. It seems to be working. Um, we cannot have this bailout because that first of all is welfare for the rich second of all it's totally going to mess up the free market um, alright so let's say we don't do the bill what's gonna happen a lot of companies that were screwing up and doing what they shouldn't do even though the government was encouraging them to do this they're gonna go bankrupt um, the companies that had their shit together and would only take good credit risks they're going to prosper so what's going to happen is these bankrupt companies are going to be liquidated and the responsible companies are going to take the assets and they're going to be rewarded for their prudence and the companies that were foolish are going to be punished for it and the individuals that were foolish are going to be punished for it this is what needs to happen there has to be motivation for success um, and when you take a risk there is a possibility of uh, failure and failure is punishment so after the good companies buy up all the assets from the bad companies, 
we're still going to have banks to go to for a loan. It's not going to be this economic disaster that's uh, all doom and gloom. All these business, all these small businesses are not going to go under because there are no banks. There are still going to be banks, and if you have good credit, then you're going to get a loan. If you don't have good credit, then you shouldn't be taking a loan. And these businesses that are depending on getting loans with bad credit, yeah, they'll probably have a problem. But guess what? They probably shouldn't have a loan. And if you don't want to back that with your money, then I think you'll agree. Anyway, um, again, generally, I love your videos. Disagree with you on this point. I would love to hear a response from you. Um, I'm curious to see what regulations you think we need and how it would be implemented. And I'm also curious to see how you think regulations cause this and not the existence of, of Freddie and Fannie. Um, have a good day, and hope to see you in another video soon. Bye.